this is the uh, fifth episode in the Halloween series, I believe. I wasn't going to do this, but um, I had drew up a face chart a while ago. I just sketched it out, and this is what it looks like. You probably can't see because of the lights. Um, but this is the face chart I have drew, drawn up. A lot of people said they really liked it, so I decided to bring it to life. And, well, this is what I got. I'm really impressed with this look. I think this is probably my favorite Halloween look I've done so far. And plus, we've got glitter. Um, this actually, I might be this for Halloween. I don't know. We'll see. So, I hope you guys really like this video. I also got a little arm tattoo going on here. So, it's perfect. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys... Oh, I just looked at the light and now I'm blinded. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I hope you guys really like this look. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video for more Halloween videos or in case this is my last Halloween video for more videos. And also, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It will really help me out and you'll also be notified when I upload because my videos will be sent directly to your subscription box. So, also don't forget to comment down below what you guys want to see next. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media sites which will be in the description box below i'm on twitter all the time i'm on pinterest all the time i'm on facebook all the time instagram you won't miss a thing when if you follow me so um yeah i hope you guys like this look and without further ado i think we should be able to transform into a warrior princess you the music Alright, so we're going to start off by filling in our brows very boldly because a warrior princess has stunning brows, so we're going to give ourselves stunning brows. Also, don't forget to create an arch in your brow if you don't have one because all warrior princesses basically have arched brows, like if you see pictures. So, create an arch for yourself if you don't have one. And then I am going to go in with some concealer and I'm going to sculpt out my brows to make them even like more bold and it's just gonna really help set your brows apart from your base. And then I'm just going to blend in the concealer so it's not a harsh line of concealer on my face. prime our eyes so that way our eye eyeshadow will stay while we're conquering the world and fighting and protecting okay maybe not but just prime your eyes and of course blend in the eyeshadow primer and then I'm gonna take a brown a medium tone brown shade and I'm gonna dust that in my crease Don't forget to blend out. And now I'm just going to dust a gold shade all over my entire lid. I don't know what's about gold and browns, but that is like a warrior princess. Those are warrior princess colors. Like every warrior princess wears golds and browns. I don't know why. And then I'm taking a really shimmery deep brown and I'm going to create a sort of half triangle in the outer V of my eye and working into my outer crease. And then I'm also going to blend and accentuate the line into closer to my tear duct, my inner eye. <laughs> and then I'm gonna blend it out, of course. Don't forget to drag some of that brown onto your lower lash line to really complete the look. And I'm also going to put some white in my inner corner and I'm going to blend that out. And then I'm going to place a white eyeshadow to my brow bone and my inner corner to give it a more pop and to really highlight those areas of my face. And then of course, to make the inner tear duct pop out even more, we are going to apply some glitter because every warrior princess needs a little bit of glitz and glam sometimes. And it's really gonna, our inner eyes are really gonna stand out and just say, you know, I'm fierce. Actually, if you're wearing glitter, you probably don't give an impression of being fierce. Anyways, above my eyebrows, I'm gonna create black dots. 
as you can see, I'm doing here, and this is just going to start our tribal little look going on, design, tattoo details. And I'm also going to do it by my cupid's bow and on my chin. And then we're going to create white lines, too, on one on either side of those black ones that we did on our chin and in between our mouth and our nose to really help set them apart and make them look more warrior tribal-esque. And then taking red, I'm going to put it under my eyes, as you can see here, just doing a line from each um, hairline, each side of my hairline. Um, I did red because it matched my hair feathers, as you can see. You can do any color depending on what hair pieces or what color clothing you're going to wear, but I really feel like the red looks really nice with this look. And then I'm taking some liquid latex and I'm going to create these like battle wounds type things on my forehead. And this is going to be like claw marks or like scars. We'll just say battle wounds. And then I'm going to, once it dries, dust red face paint over it and kind of blend out with my finger to make it look more deeply scarred. And then I'm going to finish off my eyes by winging it out with some eyeliner and creating a thick um, wing. <laughs> we want it to go very dramatic. And then if you mess up, don't forget to sculpt out your wing with some concealer. And then I'm taking some white face paint and I'm going to create another wing and continue onto my lower lash line and then we're going to finish off with mascara on the upper and lower lashes. And then for our arm tattoo we're just going to create two circles around our entire arm and that's basically it. I felt like Tyler Posey because he's got like a tattoo like that. Um, but anyway yeah so the eyes are very bold and dramatic and this whole look is but that's more your princess I really actually like the turnout of this look. I think it looks amazing. Of course you can skip the tattoo part, but I feel like it pulls the look together a lot. And then finish off with some lip gloss, a nude brown lip gloss preferably. And you have now transformed yourself into a warrior princess. So now go fight and conquer the world or whatever it is they do. Yeah! Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my previous Halloween video. And I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!